Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Monday, the 27th of September, starting with ADVFN, where we've got this uh, trend line break there from May. That was uh, versus the, well, I suppose, the 65 pence level. And above that, we're looking for the top of that rising trend channel from back in July last year, heading up towards pound twenty, maybe by the end of this year, perhaps going into November at some point. This stage early really well below 60p delaying the upside scenario for the stock. Interesting also to see that the shares went into a very oversold um, territory just on that last dip uh, earlier this month. And uh, the last time we saw a dip uh, like that for the RSI, we also had a decent rally there for the, for the shares from 25 pence to, uh, what, 85 pence or so. And uh, maybe history will repeat itself over coming weeks. On to ASA International, which uh, I haven't covered uh, very often. I can't actually remember the last time I covered it. But uh, here we've had uh, an extended uh, sort of tail off for the stock, especially with that new leg down from July. Uh, the plus point here over the last couple of sessions is the gap through the 50-day moving average, which remains uh, unfilled. And uh, above the floor of the gap at 105, we're looking for the 200-day moving average, as high as pound fifty-three, perhaps by the end of next month so looking pretty solid there at asa on to advanced energy which i think is probably one of the uh, better looking uh, oilers uh, in terms of the small end of the market here we've got what looks like a um, extended flag maybe you could call it even a handle on a, a saucer shape uh, formation that we've had from october last year but whatever it is above the 50 day moving average at 3.1 pence Looking for as high as uh, that resistance line projection up towards uh, 5 pence by the end of next month, um, powered by the latest gap to the upside and the uh, key re reversal to the upside off the 50-day line at the end of last week. Moving along to uh, Beowulf Mining. Here you can see that uh, the stock has uh, really made good on that break of that falling wedge that we had that line there from January around uh, 4 pence. Broke the um, initial September peak at four and a half, and uh, we powered on ever since. The view now is that we should at least retest that old October resistance at seven and a half pence plus, maybe up to eight pence by the end of next month. And the way things are going by the end of this month. Onto a stock which uh, announced what could be a constructive news a rejigging of the uh, share price. But so far, even though that will enable the Canadian institutional investors to get them on board, the current situation is that we're still bouncing off that uh, line of support there from the early part of last year. But looking for that to be around 0.3, but it looks as though it was actually at 0.27. So we'll see whether that holds. End of day close above 0.31, 0.32 would then uh, cancel out the bear trap that we seem to be getting at the moment below 0.3 pence for Canadian. Initially, obviously, the uh, target there up to 0 0.38, 0 0.39, which was the um, September peak to date. And then after that, more chance of a push in towards the, the 0.5 pence plus area, maybe sometime later next month. But, uh, but w worth watching out now to see whether 0.3 is held on an end of day close basis. If we can get back above that, then Coppel looking rather better. In fact, in fact, actually probably benefiting from the latest dip for the stock. Moving along to... Um, gem fields and uh, here we've got a situation where we have a very good looking chart just sort of sideways or up and has been the recent price action gap through resistance at the end of last week so that resistance there at 13.6 pence and above that we're looking for 22 pence at the top of a rising trend channel from the early part of last year that could be hit as soon as the end of next month uh, punter's favorite or stock which has become more of a punter's favorite perhaps over the recent past is hurricane energy we've got this uh, inverted head and shoulders pattern here on the daily chart, last shoulder there, just under three pence and uh, looking for as high as five pence by the end of next month, which is that February resistance line projection for the shares on the daily chart. Had a request uh, for uh, mobile streams, uh, which uh, if it can come through on the daily chart here, uh, has been a, one of the best uh, small cap situations of the recent past great fundamental and uh, technical situation if i can get the right uh, stock up on the uh, machine here uh, here we've got the uh, massive spike that we had uh, especially in the recent past through the old peak there from uh, back in march that was at 0.747 and a half and uh, currently looking for the shares to hit as high as 0.8 pence 
over the next couple of weeks, especially while we have uh, no uh, support, no support falling below the uh, 0.53 level, which was the low of Friday. So above 0.53, looking for 0.8 over the next two to three weeks on mobile streams. Moving along to another punter's favourite, uh, one which has got to sort of bogged down in the uh, 0.2 pence area. Hopefully this is the, uh, I suppose, about, about, about the fifth time lucky with the stock to bounce off that and then head higher. But uh, if you're fussy, maybe wait for an end of day close through 0.25, but otherwise above 0.2, looking for 0.35 plus by the end of next month now. I think there's been enough consolidation for the shares over the recent past. On to uh, Saita Group, and uh, here we've had a very juicy looking candle bouncing off the floor of that rising trend channel from back in July. Top of the channel here heading towards £3, and that could be hit by the end of next month while we remain above the £2 level, which is today's intraday low. So something to shoot for there on that situation. Finishing off with uh, Tectonic Gold, which is uh, an aqua stock, but don't let that uh, put you off. Here it looks like we're, we've uh, reached the end of that consolidation the shares have had since October. Very long consolidation and uh, really while we're above the 1.1 pence area now we're looking for 2.5, 2.6 pence at the top of that trend channel from September last year. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.